Hey guys, what's up? Um, I'm doing an update video to show you guys some of the things that is happening to my tanks. So first of all, the female angel has fin rot, and the male, he's been showing a few signs of fin rot. So until I can get the medicine, um, I'm using salt. Last time I had the medicine, I had to use it all in one, all in a molly that his, his fin rod didn't go away. I had to buy two bottles of it to treat him, and I'm pretty sure it was fin rod. Like it just wouldn't go away. So yeah, um, the next thing is I did a water change, and I added quite a few things. I tied this java moss to my lava rock. I'm definitely, I mean java fern. I'm definitely getting more java fern. Um, sorry about that. I added this bamboo. Well, it's not really bamboo. But um, yeah, I might move it to the 10 gallon. Once I'm, once I'm done treating it, I'm sorry about that, but yeah, I added the onion plant, I cut part of the Amazon sword, I got the bamboo, I got, I got this plant for the price of one, I split it into three. Um... I actually really don't know the name of this one, but um, if you guys know it, please comment or, in, or send me a private message. I'd really appreciate it. And then um, I'm going to show you a few things that I made with the fish tank. So I like this plant, I put it like towards the corner so that it could hide a few fish. Now you could still see them, but only small fish would be able to get in there, like the tetras or the live bearers I have or the catfish. And then this plant, I have it close to like a little forest thing. So if there is any babies, they would probably swim out into here and hide everywhere. I think I just made them more vulnerable, but you know. And then I made sort of this little hiding spot. The block, the rock covers it so that only a few fish can get in there. This plant is a good hideout for babies, so... And normally when, when she has babies, she normally looks to hide. So yeah, um, that rock is blocking the big fish, like the angel, and some more angels I'm going to be getting. So some small cichlids can get in there and stuff, small fish. And then I put another, I put these plants here also to block it. And um, but yeah, all the fish are doing great. No more deaths. The only thing I can't, I can never find is the pleco. He's always hiding. But yeah, um, yeah, I think this is my favorite plant. That's number two, and this is number three. But yeah, um, so you guys, um, I would really appreciate it. If you could comment how to make like more hiding places with these with only these plants um, I think I'm gonna make like little areas like right here areas where only some small fish can get in there oh, there's a plecko but yeah guys please like try and think about it and comment how I can make hiding spots for um, all the fish and um, 
I'm going to be getting more plants next week when I have to do a water change. Um, I got these plants from Chicago Aquariums and Aquatics. I think that's the name. If not, that's what I saw. But anyway, um, their place is great. It's kind of small, but um, they have a lot of fish. They specialize in cichlids, and I saw a lot of discus for the cheap, that are cheap. And then they have a bunch of, they have lots of live plants. And some other places I recommend, if you live in the Chicago area of Illinois, um, our Living Sea Aquarium, although some of their staff is like kind of rude. And Ocean Design Aquarium, I totally recommend that place. Um, that is like my number one place. So if you guys are looking to buy fish in the Chicago area, definitely go there. I totally recommend that place. It's small. But it's amazing. They have lots of stuff to help you with your tank, and it's a family, a family business. So yeah, I definitely recommend those guys. So um, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So thank you.